here. For me. Red better get the hell out of the ring because these girls are not going to wait. We're kicking your startness in at 80 miles per hour. Just a few weeks ago at the Rise event, Max made an impromptu appearance and used her skull to knock out Ziggy Heim. This is a very personal rivalry here, and at this juncture, Max is trying to use Ziggy. This one could be over before it gets started. To gain entry into Rise. Our feature presentation here, exclusively on the Indie Wrestling Network. For Uprise, it is Ziggy Hot versus Max the Impaler. And you talk about a David and Goliath situation here. Max is physically imposing as she is going up against this young firecracker in Ziggy Heim. It's David versus Goliath. Ziggy rushed her way into the lion's den, and she may uh, regret that here. Yeah, she thought maybe it was a quick way to get on top of Max, but no, Max definitely cut that off. Don't count Ziggy out. One of my, one of my tag partners, I know Ziggy very well. This, this, like you said, this, this girl's a firecracker. You know, even, even an M80 is small, but it can do a lot of damage. I'm not going to take anything away from Ziggy. She, I mean, she's in, in, in the thick of the Rise of a Contender tournament right now on the Rise main roster. She's been fighting to become the first woman to win the Grand Championship. But come on, guys. Look at this Max. She is as physically imposing as any man I've ever seen, let alone a woman. And listen to that contact. And honestly, I think this crowd is just terrified. Well, there, there is They're a hush terrified. silence out here. <laughs> I think the they, presence yeah, of Max. They are definitely. A f I think they and, fear for Ziggy. Look at this right now. She is quite literally ragdolling Ziggy, and we may want to stop this one before Ziggy Hyde gets hurt. I'll tell you right now. Just give her the spot on the roster before something happens here, and Ziggy gets hurt badly. Oh my! You know, Max. Max has a great pedigree. She was trained by the Chris brothers. She's. She's working in Ohio Valley Wrestling. She's working for Rise Women Wrestling. She's she's taking the wrestling world by storm. She can wrestle and she can fight. And she can decapitate, which is what she's doing here. And our feature presentation may be a short. Come on, Ziggy. Yeah, I don't know if there's any way Ziggy Heim can fight back from this. This this young this young lady, Max, she may just be too much for Ziggy to handle. And she collapsed in the corner. She may have yeah, Zig, hit her Ziggy, elbow on the way down, Paul. She was clutching yeah, her arm immediately. Ziggy may want to think about living to fight another day. Like I mentioned before, she is right in the thick of the rise of a contender tournament. And two weeks from now, she has to face Tony, Tony Johnson in that tournament. And if something happens here that she's injured, she's going to give up that chance at the Rise Grand Championship. Absolutely, Paul. October 12th, the next time we're in this building for oh, Rise. Jawbreaker. Ziggy has everything to lose and Max has everything to gain. This Absolutely correct, Sean. Up. And look at the physical strength, the physical domination. And believe me, I'm not trying to take anything away from Ziggy. She is one heck of a competitor. But she's got other things on her plate right now that she want, might want to consider being more important than keeping Max off the rise roster. Well, it's a matter of pride because Max... Uh, Blindside Ziggy at the last Rise event. To this may be. Hold on, John. I don't mean to interrupt you, but this might be it. She's finding that life left in her. Ziggy fighting back. She's got guts, but I don't know if that's going to be enough in this case. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, she's got her up here now. Oh, Ziggy trying to slide out the back door. Shoulders and down. You don't have to hurt your opponent. All you have to do is win. And I think Ziggy knows that. Gentlemen, I'm going to be honest here. I'm I'm very concerned for wow. Ziggy's safety here. That Samoan drop just driving the air out of Ziggy. All right, Ziggy, stay in this. Sean, I don't know if it's a wise decision for her yeah, to stay. Yeah, I, I mean, I know she's a friend of yours. I know she's a tag team partner, but you know, you got to think about your career moving forward from this night. You know, I can put myself in these shoes. I know when when a lot of times people counted me out. All it takes is that little second, that little second that can change the tide, and you can. And Nick Davidson may want to think about stopping this one because Ziggy is being dissected. She is being picked apart. 
I mean, other than that little bit of flurry when and she first hit the ring. Yeah, I mean, other than that fl initial flurry when she first hit the ring, we have not seen a lot of offense out of Ziggy Heim right now. Tom. I mean, Sean, I don't know if you want to disclose any personal conversations here, but what was Ziggy's uh, mindset ahead of this matchup? I mean, you guys are friends. You talked to her. She just wanted to bring hell. I know that's all she wanted to do. Don't count her out. Look at this. Look at she's staying in this. Staying in this. Yeah, it might it might not be doing a lot of damage. But you stay in this, all it takes is one second, one hit to the diaphragm, or you can knock your opponent's wind out, and then you can gain the momentum, and Ziggy's gaining some momentum right now. But it's taking a lot out of him. Ziggy's see that. quite literally scratching and clawing to try to rally here, but I, don't, I just don't know. And Jim, if you notice, this is the first real response we've actually got out. Shoulders down. That's a two count. That's a two count. First real response we actually got out of this crowd so far. Is yeah, there I has mean, been a very uncomfortable hush over the abuse that is being yeah. poured on Ziggy here. Yeah, I, I think it has nothing to do with the overall match and everything for the that everybody just feels really like uncomfortable. The fact that Ziggy could really become hurt here. And we talked about it a few weeks ago. Her belief in herself, her self motivation has really propelled her to a new level, but... And man, how close was that? Max that was. just... And if Max is defeated here, that could spell the end of her at Uprise. Yeah, I mean, to, to she lose... She made such a public statement invading the stronghold a few weeks ago. She's having her chance. She strikes out here. It's the back of the line, pal. Yeah, she pretty much guaranteed that she would win tonight and be on the Uprise roster, or on the Rise roster. So a loss here tonight is really going to stall that momentum. Yeah, capitalize, capitalize, come on. You know, I shudder to think what would happen if Max were to lose. Yeah, we, she's scary now. But if you give a give a loss under her belt, the terror she's going to bring. Wait a minute, Ziggy could be going for it. On, she hit on. the bulldog. That's twice now, that's twice. What an upset. That's it. Upset. That's it. One, two. Not enough to keep the, the, the much larger Max down on the canvas. Every time it takes Max a second to kick out, that's that's energy she's expelling. Oh. Yeah, she went through it for it a third time, but that's out. Oh, oh, she hit no. that spear. She cut Ziggy in half. And that's and it. Good night. And a problem.